have a Fire Belly Blue Argentine Tegu. Okay, now this is not your regular just black and white Tegu. No, if you look. Fire Belly Argentine Tegu. Yes. Okay. See how he's got the bright orange? Oh, I know, I know. You're getting skinny. And then he's got the blue coloring on him. So he's got the blue tint. Right, right. But he's also special because he's missing a leg. Oh, is he a rescue? No, I just got him a little while ago. Oh, well, well, that, no, that's what I mean. Did the leg incident happen since you had him? Or you, no. But you know, I bought, I got him like that. Well, <laughs> had he been like tragically injured and someone nursed him back to health? Yeah, he's still healing. He's still healing up. <laughs> but that's one thing that makes him special. Do you know how he lost his leg? Probably an injury by another Tegu. Okay, so he was in a cage with another Tegu. Yeah. He shouldn't have been. Okay, yeah. That's pretty serious. I didn't know Tegu's got that violent got, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They definitely do. <laughs> All right. You seem to know a lot about Tegu's. Now, you seem so happy with him. Are you selling him today? Or? No, he's mine. He's your personal he's my, Tegu. He's my personal Tegu. He's okay. my baby. Okay. You guys are triple R. What do you actually deal in? Um, mostly ball pythons, but we take in triple R exotics. We rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome. Okay, so you are you do your rescues? Yes, we do. Tell me a little bit about your rescue. Um, well, we've been doing this for about six years now. Okay. Um, it's based out of our home in Winter Haven, Florida. Right. Um, we'll take in anything from because we're licensed for. Sorry. So we're, we're licensed for all of the um, class 3 mammals and reptiles, as well as conditional species, including the Burmese and oh, reeds. Okay. And we've got everything over here that's up for adoption right now. Oh, okay. So these are all previously rescued animals then? Yeah. Okay. Not all of them are previously rescued. Some of them we we bred ourselves. Okay. But some of them that we have out here are previously rescued. So the goal when you do a rescue is to usually, except rescue, for the case of this tag here, yeah. actually rehome them. It's a rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome when necessary. Okay. That's great. So, but sometimes when you get a rescue, you can't help but get attached. Alright, this is what happened. What's the tank use name? I haven't named it yet. Okay. I'm trying to think of a name that kind of fits him with his little right. one leg. Right. Just that we really enjoy what we do and our motto is maybe get some on exotics and educate others. Okay, great. Well, you've got well, Becca working for you and all into it. Yep, that's right, our, our daughter. Yep. Becca, what's your favorite rescue? Uh, I would say our very The what? The prairie dog. Oh, you have a prairie dog rescue? Yeah, we have a prairie dog named Owen. But <laughs> it goes all the way down to our four year old. Oh. Uh, she owns her own ball python. Yo, hello. What's your name? Hi. Anita. Oh, okay. Anita. Anita. Hi, what animals do you like? You like snakes? You like snakes?